hello friends so in today's video i am going to show you how to run a docker image into kubernetes so in my past few previous video i have already shown you how to install docker how to install kubernetes and how to run a sample docker using uh, like docker compose so that you can run multiple docker images from uh, using docker compose so today's uh, video will be mainly focus on how to running how to run a docker image using kubernetes so i am using this uh, uh, spark code you can see it's a py spark so i am just simply creating a data frame and showing it here uh, so i'll be just uh, creating a docker image using this py spark file and then i'll push that a docker image into docker hub and from docker hub we'll use that kubernetes uh, docker like uh, how we will we will use that docker hub to push that uh, docker image into kubernetes and i'll show you how to run it and i exactly i am going to show you all the process from beginning till the end so watch the full video so let's start the video so first i am going to log in into my uh, kubernetes cluster uh, so i am going to log in into the master node so this is the way i am going to log in so i am using aws instances ec2 instances to where i have already created all the docker environment and uh, all kubernetes setup that you can see in my previous video anyway so i'm just connecting it there and i have a docker image i can show you in so uh, i'm going to create the docker image so i'm going inside pyspark so this code is already there in the github that you can i'll, I'll be sharing with you so i'm going to use this you can see this this so this is the python file which is pyspark i am going to use in my docker file so i will show you my docker file so you can see i am using this file so this is the docker image i'll be running so if you need this docker file that which is already i have shown in my previous video but in this video i also i am i'll be sharing you this uh, uh, github uh, link so that you'll be able to get the complete setup and you can you can be able to run in your environment as well so let's just create first uh, the docker image so, so using docker image ls i can ch check the existing docker thing so i want to create a new docker image based on my this docker file this is the docker file so for that you need to write the command docker build hyphen t and then you need to give the image name so i will name it firespark cube 01 dot is your current directory so now you can see the docker image got created ls when i type so this is the docker image which got created so if i have to run this docker image so i can simply use docker run and the image name or image id so this will run you can see this is running and it will print me the output so currently it's running on individual docker as a image so i can see the result you can see here this is my result i will try to push the image into i will try to push the image into docker hub so i will create a repository so i'll give the repository in uh, firespark cube volume 1 something like that okay so i'm creating this public v1 okay this will take it 
Oh, so you need to follow the constraint. So let's just create this. Now let's see Docker image ls. So currently my image is not tagged. You can see it. You can see it's just latest. So for that, what I need to do, I need to do Docker tag, and I want to give the name like. something like pyspar cube and then I can pass this so this is the command I will be pasting you in the description okay now you will be able to see i have this so i just got confused between this and this this was the old one the recent one is this one so let's try to push it so this will be docker push and this is the tag name okay so now you can see this is pushing into my docker hub image so it will be reflected here so after some time the repository will be reflected here in my docker hub So this will be here in few minutes it's still uploading you can see so once it's done so we will be trying to push our code uh, we will try to run okay now you can see it's done so we'll try to run this docker hub image using kubernetes So what we post for spark 01 so you can see this one is got created now okay so if someone want to pull they can pull this image you can see this is the docker image so now we'll try to run it in kubernetes okay so now let's just try to run this uh, docker image into our kubernetes so for that i need to go back first from here and i have a directory for kubernetes so there you need this deployment.yml so i will change this first to our so you need this information api version kind job name so whatever name you want to put so i will put the name my pi spark job and i will change this image so let just get this image from here so this is the tag name so I'll take this completely from there and I will pass it here container name I'll put by spark okay so my deployment dot yml is ready now one more thing i need to do so before i run this i just need to 
login to the kubernetes web ui for that i need to generate the token and then i need to run this command okay but now i need to open a new cell so that this dashboard will be running on port 8080 so this is my i need to go back again docker dcube let's just log in to this url so i'll just type localhost 8080 advance proceed and it will take i need to paste the token here so this video i also have already created i'll share you the link so how you can log into Kubernetes web UI that one video I already made. So currently I have no ports running. Okay. So there was few jobs I ran earlier, but which was for Python, uh, which was long back, but now I'm going to recreate this job. So now I'm using chat GPT. So it gives you all the code, whatever you need for Kubernetes. So I will use this code, this command to deploy my uh, deploy my Docker image into Kubernetes. So I'll just paste it. So you can see my first part job created that I can check from here. So you can see this got created. And this is the job. You can see this. It's running. You can see the timing. You can see the container name, everything you can monitor from here. So I can see everything it's showing it's running, right? So if you want to see the log, you can click here and you can see the log also from there. So currently my job is running. So this is how you run your job into Kubernetes. So you see it's success. It runs successfully. So you can you can monitor everything from here. And you can see the output here, whatever job I have run. So this is the best way to run your Spark code in Kubernetes. And everything you can monitor from here. So this was just a sample creation. So I am still doing something by my own. I am a big data architect, not more on DevOps side, but I am trying to learn Kubernetes and Docker by myself. So I'm, I thought maybe I will be able to share my learning experience with you. So this is how, this is what I learned so far. So how you can create a Docker image and how you can run your image into Kubernetes. So the more explore, I will explore more. And if I get the more information, I'll share more video on Docker and Kubernetes so thanks for but before that uh, let's see like what other code does so if you see we'll try to see all this command so these all are the three you can see the kubectl job command so these all are the three jobs i have so if you want to get what all job running on kubernetes you can get it from this command and then you can describe the job so for example my job was that is one thing which was already there it was like my spark job something let me just reconfirm it yeah so 
this was my this one my pasfog job so it describes like it's running this is the image port environment mount so all this information we just need to pass that i will check more so this is this commands are to monitor it this will check how many ports are there so you see this this is the port which is connected if you want to see the log so we can check the log with the port name so this is the port which is currently active so if you want to see the log for that port so we can see this is the log we get so in the command line also you can monitor everything so so if you want to delete this is the command to delete so for example i'll delete this my job this job was already there so it got deleted and now if i try to get the jobs then i can see i have only two jobs so thanks for watching the video and hopefully i'll create more video and i'll share my own experience with you with you guys and uh, from now i'll try to create more videos on big data related stuff like uh, map reduce hive impala spark so there is there will be more video which will be very helpful so be connected try to subscribe my channel and like the video so i'll see you in the next video